Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me for another Alfred Hitchcock Presents Review. Today I will be talking about Season 3, Episode 13, Night of the Execution, starring Pat Hingle as Warren, George Ann Johnson as Doreen, and Russell Collins as Barnes. And this is a solid episode overall. I thought it was uh, fairly enjoyable. It's not a great episode. It's not as suspenseful or as exciting as it could have been in my opinion. Uh, the ending is a little abrupt as well, but overall it's a well-acted well-plotted episode uh, that I find to be pretty good. So we start with Warren, and he's a prosecutor. Uh, turns out he has a problem, though. He's not getting enough convictions, um, according to the man he's talking to, who I believe is his boss and also his father-in-law. So it turns out he's working on this new Rodman case, and if he doesn't get a conviction in this case, he might not get his nomination for district attorney that he's looking for. We also learn that Warren's wife, Doreen, is unhappy about this whole situation as well. So at this point, Warren goes in the courtroom, and uh, he comes on pretty strong to try and get Rodman convicted. Uh, and it also turns out this man, Rodman, can be executed if found guilty, which is also important to the plot. So at this point, we go to the next scene where... Not sure what's happened in the case yet. There's no verdict yet. And we meet Doreen, the wife of Warren. And uh, she meets up with Warren and they chat. And you can tell they're both very concerned about his future. And that a lot rides on what happens in this case. Uh, at this point, they learn that there's a verdict that's come in. And this man, Barnes, comes by, but he's largely ignored. But uh, he will definitely be back in the episode very soon. So it turns out that Rodman does get convicted. This makes Warren, and especially Doreen, very happy. They're talking about their future. Well, uh, everything is good until this guy Barnes comes over and he claims that Rodman is innocent and that he is the killer and we're not sure as an audience uh, if we should believe him or not. I wasn't sure at this point. So the two guys talk about the case. Of course Warren basically uh, grills him. He wants to hear uh, Barnes' side of the story and Barnes does come across as pretty uh, convincing. So Warren gets a call from his father-in-law about the nomination. So now Warren has a problem. He's troubled because he thinks Barnes might be the real killer and he's put away an innocent man. But of course his wife Doreen wants to hear nothing about this. She's only worried about uh, Warren's career and her future basically at this point. So Warren reluctantly agrees to uh, you know, not believe Barnes's story and to keep Rodman in prison at this point. So at this point, Warren goes back out and he scares Barnes. He basically tells him, you won't go to jail, you'll be executed. So Barnes is really concerned. He changes his story and he leaves very frightened. But apparently Warren didn't do a good enough job of frightening him, as we'll find out in the next part of the episode. So we go ahead to the night of the execution and Warren is still bothered. Doreen wants him to go out to some dinner with him, but Warren says he wants to be left alone. So Doreen leaves. I have to say, she's not uh, the most supportive person in the world, but uh, whatever. I thought this was fine. So at this point, Barnes comes over again. He says he just can't live with the fact that an innocent man will be executed for committing his crime. He insists that Warren call, basically, and say a mistake was made. So, of course, there's a struggle because Warren won't do this. Uh, it's actually... Not much of a fight, as Barnes is killed pretty quickly. I thought this whole thing was a little abrupt and sloppy, but uh, I guess it works in the context of the episode. So, at this point, uh, Barnes is killed, and uh, Warren confesses to doing it, as Doreen and uh, her father come in conveniently just at this moment. And we learn at this point that Barnes really didn't do this. He's this guy that went around just confessing to random crimes, uh, who knows why? So kind of a typical twist ending. It's too bad Warren didn't know about this guy ahead of time. But like I said, a decent twist. The episode does a pretty good job of not letting you know if Barnes was really the killer or not. And the acting is solid all the way around. Pat Hingle gives a good performance here. And like I said, the plot is solid. It's just not uh, all that suspenseful. But this is a, a, a watching, uh, watchable, pretty entertaining episode, and I'm going to give Night of the Execution a 3 out of 5. I do recommend this as at least a one-time watch for fans of the show. I found it enjoyable enough. So 3 out of 5 for Night of the Execution, and as always, thank you very much for watching.